Hi everybody, welcome to class. I'm glad to see you all here today. And I really want to talk about my weekend. I had a really interesting weekend because I went to see the new Star Wars movie. Did anybody else go to see Star Wars? Do you know Star Wars? Is it, do you like it? I love it. And I went to see the new Star Wars movie, so I'm very happy because now I know what happens. And after I went to the Star Wars movie, I was walking downtown and I saw people eating some Thai food in a restaurant. And I started to wonder about when I would go out to eat and if I had the money to go out to eat. So who here likes to go to the movies? Do you who, raise your hand if you'd like to go to the movies. Okay, and who likes to go out to eat? Raise your hand if you'd like to go out to eat. Most, most of you do. Maybe some of you want to stay home and cook, right? So why do we go to the movies? Why do we go out to eat? Right, okay, because we're hungry. We're hungry, and why else? Because... Okay, because we want fun things to do. So when I go to the movies, it's because I want to have fun. And I go to the movies if I have the money to do it. So if I have the money, then I do it. When I have the money, then I go to the movies. So when you have money, do you go out to eat and see movies? Do you do that? If you have the money and when you have the money? Have you heard people ask those questions before? Yeah. Okay, today we're going to learn how to talk about things that we will do or we want to do on the weekends, but we don't know for sure sometimes if those things are really going to happen or maybe they're going to happen. So if I have the money, then I'll go to the movies. So I must have the money to pay for the movies, right? Okay. And when I go to the movies, I have fun on the weekend. So when means that it is going to happen or there's something more definite about when. When we say if, it's a little bit uncertain, right? So let's, let's talk about that and let's look at some examples so that we can talk about things that we want to do on the weekend and we can explain it very clearly. So let's listen to this, okay? If I have a car, then I can drive to the store, right? If I have a car, if there's a car in my driveway and I have the keys, then I can drive to the store. Do you agree or disagree? You agree, right? Okay, it's pretty simple. What about this? If I knew how to drive a car, I could drive to the store. If I knew how to drive a car, I could drive to the store. What's different about that? Both sentences use if. So there's if written here and there's if written here, but those sentences are different, aren't they? Okay, so in the first example, if I have a car, then I can drive a car to the store it's very real, right? Maybe it will happen, maybe it won't, but it's very real. If I have a car, then I'll drive. But in the second example, if I knew how to drive a car, I could drive to the store. So first thing, maybe, maybe not, because we said if, but we're imagining like the a fantasy. So it's not really real if I knew how to drive a car. 
if I knew how to fly a plane, if I knew how to breathe underwater, <clears throat> it's not real. It, it, it's real in my imagination. Does everybody understand? Do you understand the difference? Okay, so we're gonna look at real statements and like fantasy statements with if. And we're also going to talk about this example. So we have up here this example, when I have $5, I can buy a sub at Subway, right? Is that true or false? When I have $5, I can buy a sub at Subway. Is that true or false? It's true, right? Assuming, okay, that the sub costs five dollars still at Subway, I don't know, but when? So in time, like I will have five dollars in the future and when I do, I'm gonna buy a sub from Subway, right? So when is talking about the time that it will happen. And it's, it's kind of real. It's kind of definite, okay? So we're gonna practice those types of examples, all right? I have a worksheet uh, that everybody has a copy on their desk and there's 10 questions on this worksheet. And don't worry, we, I just wanna get an idea of what everybody understands. So. On this worksheet, we are going to answer true or false to the statements that are written on there. When you read these statements, are they true or are they false? And you tell me what you think. I'm going to collect the papers when we finish and I'm going to look at them quickly and this will help me understand what you understand, okay? so. Everybody go ahead and fill out the worksheets and then I'll collect them, okay?